Hey guys, this is Patrick with Patch Tech Review and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about an Amazon capture card that I found for about $55. We're going to be reviewing it to see if it's any good for video game capture or even screen capture or even camera capture. So let's go. In previous YouTube videos that I've made, I've been trying to find a way to actually capture the video game play whenever I'm doing a review on my Xbox Series X. So in my search on Amazon, I came across this particular video capture card, was this Disaster Luke capture card. You can actually find this capture card provided by many different sellers on Amazon uh, for about the same price, $55 to $60. So I purchased this particular card to help me capture gameplay whenever I'm making videos for YouTube. So in the box with the card, you get the actual card you get a USB 3 cable, you get an HDMI cable, and also a USB-C cable. I was looking for a device that I can use that was cheaper than an Elgato capture card, which costs about $150 to $250. So I thought $55 was a good option for me to go with. I could just go ahead and buy the card, and if anything goes wrong with it, I can return it to Amazon because they do have extended return periods for the particular card. So let's talk about how you set the card up. Now, this capture card does have two separate HDMI slots, one for an input and one for an output. And how that works is, for the HDMI input, you would actually plug in an HDMI cable here, and then this other end would actually go into your computer or into your camera or into your gaming system. And then the output would actually go uh, to your TV or to your monitor. You'll plug it in as such. You will have to have two separate HDMI cords uh, for this. And after that, how you actually see the video on your computer is you're gonna use the USB-C 3, which is the blue plug on the back. And also it comes with a blue plug as well. You plug that in, and then you plug this into a USB-C 3 on the back of your computer if you have it. USB-C 2 also works. Um, I found that it doesn't really matter if it's USB 3 or, or 2. You can just plug this into any USB slot on your computer and then uh, you'd be able to get video. But you would have to have the proper program on your computer like OBS in order to capture that. In fact, I'll show you that right now. All right, you guys, so the first thing that you wanna do is open up OBS, which is, which is free. And then when you go in there, you wanna select the scene that you want. So click on scenes, then click on the plus button under sources. And then you'll see video capture device. And then you click on that. I'm gonna name this CC for capture card. I'm gonna click okay. Make sure everything's connected. So once it opens up, uh, you'll be able to select whatever device you want. So since I want to capture the video capture device, uh, it's going to read as USB 3.0 HD, so that's already connected. So as you can see, it's right there on the screen. Then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and make sure you do this in order to capture audio. It says capture audio only. Uh, make sure you use custom audio device. And then from there, you're going to select your capture card, which is a USB 3.0 audio capture. Click, click that and then click OK. And then from there, you should be able to see all the audio and actually hear the audio that's coming out of uh, the system. Right now I'm using two different OBSs, so that's why you don't hear the audio coming out of this right now. And then from there, I'm actually gonna head on, start recording in order to start recording uh, whatever gameplay I want. And it's gonna save to whatever file you want. So that's quick, easy, and simple on how to set up just a video capture card on OBS. All right guys, the Zas Loop capture card, it serves its purpose. It does what it, I need it to do. Uh, for $55, I mean, what can I say? Would I recommend you go out and get this card? I would think I would think so. You know, it's fifty five dollars, and Elgato will cost you a lot more money than that if you're getting an Elgato capture card. But you get a lot more features with the Elgato capture card. I want to be upfront with that. I just need something where I could just record video from my Xbox Series X and put these in videos whenever I need them down the line inside of the future, or if I decide to stream down the line, this would be a good card to use as well. Uh, so my final verdict is I would buy it. If you go on Amazon, you can find different sellers with this same uh, design and same type of card. The only problem that I see with these Chinese cards, because it is made in China, is the quality control. You, one person may get a really good card, one person may get a really bad card. It just depends. Uh, so you are kind of rolling the dice with that. All right, you guys, if you did like the content, please hit the like button down below. And also please subscribe to the channel. There'll be a lot more videos coming on tech stuff. So again, this is Patrick with Patch Tech Review. Peace.